Before 1905, the world was believed to possess Euclidean geometry. That is, all five axioms of Euclid were believed to hold. That means a line can be drawn from one point to another point. A finite line segment can be extended indefinitely. A circle can be drawn from any point and arbitrary radius. All right angles are equal to one another. And the last one, for a given line and a point P not lying on the line, there exists a unique line passing to the given point and parallel to the given line. Now this last one was very skeptical and mathematicians investigated whether the last one can be deduced from the other four axioms. But instead, a wide range of new geometry was discovered, the non-Euclidean geometry, which include very bizarre geometries where theorems of plain Euclidean geometry is no longer valid. And one of those geometry is hyperbolic geometry. First, I should in introduce to the metric. A metric is just a way of specifying distance between any two points. The Euclidean space has Euclidean metric. If we change this metric a little bit, we get our hyperbolic geometry. This is the place of hyperbolic functions with very counterintuitive properties. Let's see how special relativity fits in this picture. If we define rapidity beta as a hyperbolic function, we can see that Lorentz transformation takes the following form. This equation resembles a rotation of coordinates but in hyperbolic plane. So Lorentz transformation from one inertial frame to another is just a hyperbolic rotation on a hyperbolic plane. Special metric of hyperbolic geometry partitions the hyperbolic plane in three sections, depending whether a d squared is positive, negative or zero. This partitioning tells a lot about physics of special relativity. The region A represents the past and the event O can be influenced by any event in this region because the information will travel at lower than speed of light which is permissible. The region B represents the future. Event O can influence any event in this region for the reason given above. The region C is defined as elsewhere because one can't reach any event from event O without breaching the speed of light. So we have seen that special relativity intrinsically contains hyperbolic geometry 